And that's good because he dwells in the midst of our praise. But if you ever want to connect with God, find you a place in worship. <clears throat> find you a place in worship. Worship will take you, worship is like reading a book. You remember how they told you as kids, you read a book, y'all don't have these kind of textbooks, and y'all you know some of y'all, but we used to have a textbook when I was in elementary school called Far and Away Places. <clears throat> And you can get into that book, and it will take you to far and away places. Mm. You can get into a spirit of worship, and right where you are, <coughs> God will take you to far and away places. Yes, yes. Hallelujah. Yes. God. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Learn to get into worship. That's a place of intimacy and connection with God like none other. Like none other. And I guarantee you, from the first moment you make that connection, you'll be hungry and thirsty for linking up with God in that way every single time. Because it's one thing to be in the place and see everybody else linking up. But when you get your own hook up, Hallelujah. when you get your own, hallelujah, glory to God, right before we, uh, here to bring forth the offering that God has given unto us for the house of today. I'm going to uh, ask my niece to come and uh, render us a selection. Uh, I didn't request one from her, though there are a few that I like. But she told me last night God gave her one, so I'm going to trust her. God. But it 